a black fly in your Chardonnay. It's not irony. That's coincidence. Rather, misfortune. I want to share with you a thought that I just had. Probably the reason that I've always found mathematics so attractive is all of the coincidences. Sometimes those coincidences can be so perfect so as to approximate irony. But I, this might seem like a small thing, but I want to share it with you. Maybe here I don't mean irony. I mean beauty. I've found beauty in mathematics because of these strange coincidences that just startle me. They arrest me sometimes. And maybe it's a fixation on something silly, but maybe not. Maybe it is a basis for legitimately finding beauty. So imagine this is a piece of leather or something, and you could use it as a belt strap or loop or hammer loop or something. But look at this. Look from where this form originates. It's a cutout, a piece of cork, a circle in a square, curled into a cylinder, and then wrapped on itself. Okay, maybe I'm simple-minded, but leave me alone, I'm happy. <laughs> no, I want to show you another one. This one might seem so silly or trivial, it's almost somewhat embarrassing to admit. But I don't have to worry about showing my face around you, so I'll share it with you. When you see how simple it is, you should feel that arrested feeling of, wow, what a simple coincidence. This is one of the most beautiful curves I've ever witnessed. It, you might not be able to see it so well from through the camera or just not seeing it in person, but notice as it turns, it creates endlessly this variety of curves and it alternates between being in sections of two or three and that seem connected at a point like there's a, not a point of inflection, but like this change at which the curve, the curve reduces to a point and then grows again. It's, you might see something like this in a ribbon, but all I can really say is that despite it being dirty, and it's, it's all dusty and that's, I'm leaving it that way. I didn't clean it for the video because I think it's probably easier for you to see. Usually it's, clean and white. It's just made out of a piece of white plastic, which I'll show you in a second. But you'll have to take my word for it that in person it's just, it's totally mesmerizing. So I would advise you to make one of these and it's very easy to do. Hang it just from a string like that up in the corner and you'll see what I mean. There's a real beauty in its simplicity. It's elegance. And it's a type of, if you want to interpret it as such, mathematical art. You may think I'm crazy or simple. That's fine. But I do have a point here, and that is this. When a coincidence is so startling that we find it to become beautiful. That's a type of irony. You'll probably note that things that we find funny, the basis of humor is found in surprise. So why should beauty be any different? Here's one for you. Wait, let me clarify this. There we go. The top one is the equation for an ellipse, and the bottom one is the equation for a circle. What would mathematics be without patterns and coincidences? 
boring. <laughs> the, only the only reason to do it, other than to solve your problem, whatever that problem is you're working on, is, well, to find the intrigue in it. To look for beauty. Other than that, it's just a tool of utility. Okay, so anyway, if you look at the A under here, that's this major diameter, and the B here is the minor diameter. Or you can switch them, they're variables, it doesn't matter. The whole point is A and B just represent the different widths on uh, an ellipse. If you make both of those values the same, you get a circle, and A and B just go away, and you're left with this. In other words, a circle is a special case of an ellipse. A further piece of irony is that Kepler searched so hard because he wanted to have this some kind of perfect in his, in the way in which the planets moved. He wanted it to be a circle or some other type of simple geometry. In reality, if you look at the math, the simplest geometry of all is an ellipse. Every circle becomes an ellipse. And in fact, if you want to become really philosophical about the point, we can't see a circle. It's an impossibility. All circles that we apprehend are just because of the distortions in space and because of the problem of perspective. Uh, if you think about our vision moving out in a cone, it skews what it is and so we can't see a circle. We only ever see ellipses. They're always being looked at from the side in some sense. There's always something here. That was just the first one that popped into my head, but the longer you stay in mathematics, the more coincidences you'll see. And if you stay long enough, you'll see nothing but paradox. And that applies to philosophy too. Although I have a, an extremely finite data set, I'm very small and just one, so your mileage may vary.